Welcome to today's Digit Fox World YouTube video. In this tutorial, we will explore how to calculate interest rates for fixed income instruments, such as coupon bonds and or floating rate notes FRNs, using the powerful Python programming language. This calculation is commonly performed in custodian banks, within the securities department, also known as entitlements department or income department. Custodian banks can also manage financial accounts, handle settlements, and deal with compliance and tax issues. Custodian banks serve as mutual fund custodian as well. These income calculations help determine the interest rates, coupons, and or dividends of financial instruments held in deposits, ensuring accurate amounts are credited to investors' portfolios. Calculation Details to perform the interest rate calculation, we will consider the following details. 1. Calculated amount. In euro, this represents the amount entitled to an investor who holds a position on a specific financial instrument in their deposit. While this amount can be automatically calculated by a matrix or system, we will demonstrate how to verify its accuracy using our Python formula. 2. Balance in euro. This represents the position of the fixed income instrument held by an investor or client in their deposit. 3. Interest rate bond modality. In our example, the modality is fixed at 100. Some specialized financial information providers publish bond modalities for various fixed income instruments. 4. Bond calculation convention. This refers to the convention used to calculate the interest rate. In our example, we will consider a convention of 360 days. This value can also be obtained from certain financial information providers specializing in fixed income instruments. 5. Time to maturity. Please note, a bond's duration is easily confused with its term or time to maturity because certain types of duration measurements are also calculated in years. For this example using Python, we will call it simply duration because the term is short for our Python code and the formula in the background. Therefore, assuming a bond duration of 26 days. However, keep in mind that the correct term is time to maturity. 6. Objective. Our goal is to calculate the interest rate using the provided inputs. Python Implementation Python provides us with the flexibility to code and define both constant and variable values. In this demonstration, we aim to create an automatic control mechanism where the user, or a bank analyst, can input a given or suggested amount in euro. The Python code will then calculate the exact interest rate percentage for the fixed income instrument or floating rate note. Understanding how to calculate interest rates for fixed income instruments is crucial in the financial sector. By leveraging Python's capabilities, we can automate and verify these calculations, ensuring accuracy and efficiency. In the next part of this video series, we will dive into the Python code implementation, step by step, to calculate the interest rate for fixed income instruments. So let's get started and explore the world of financial calculations using Python. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting content and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Let's begin our Python journey into calculating interest rates for fixed income instruments. Step 1. The first thing our code does is prompt the end user to enter an amount. It could be any currency, euro, USD, or even Martian dollars if you like. For this example, the currency doesn't matter, so let's keep it simple. Step 2. Next up, we ask the user to enter the duration. Now, in our case, we're using the term duration for convenience, but the correct term is term to maturity. In this example, let's say the duration is 26 days. Step 3. Lastly, we request the user to enter the given custody account balance. Again, it could be in any currency, but for our Python code, the specific currency isn't relevant. Step 4. Once the user has entered the required information, amount, duration, and custody account balance, it's time to witness the power of automation. All the user needs to do is press the run button. And just like that, the Python code swiftly calculates the interest rate for you. The result is presented in percentage form, making it easy to understand and work with. 
Please note that the examples shown in this YouTube video are purely fictitious, invented and do not constitute any form of financial advice or recommendation. The intention of this video is solely for demonstration purposes, showcasing how to calculate interest rates for fixed income instruments using Python. The creators of this video do not assume any responsibility for financial losses or consequences resulting from the use of the information provided. It is always advisable to consult with a qualified financial professional before making any investment decisions. We really hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If so, please comment, like and subscribe. See you soon on this channel. Bye for now.